Cook and chill and variovac, the method for pre-production. The legal guidelines are based on the behavior of microorganisms within given temperature ranges. Therefore, let's focus on this behavior first. There is a critical area between plus 10 and plus 50 degrees Celsius where microorganisms multiply very rapidly. At temperatures between plus 65 and plus 75 degrees Celsius, most germs start to die off. At temperatures of more than 120 degrees Celsius, the destruction of all bacteria begins. This is the reason why these temperatures are also used for sterilization. At cooler temperatures, lower than plus 7 degrees Celsius, the growth of microorganisms slows down. At minus 18 degrees Celsius, their growth is totally stopped. The bacteria rest, but they are not killed off. This leads to a logical conclusion for pre-produced meals. The temperature range between plus 50 and plus 10 degrees Celsius has to be passed as fast as possible. Let's have a quick look at the old system the cook and serve kitchen. Cooking, keeping hot, serving. The most significant characteristic of the cook and serve system is the race against time. Within a short time, the meals have to be produced and ready for serving at lunch. That means cooking meals on time, filling them into gastronome containers and keeping them hot until serving time. If hot meals have to be delivered elsewhere, the food has to be kept hot during a long period, which of course impairs the quality of the meals. Pre-production is usual in every cook and serve kitchen because it is not possible to carry out all the necessary tasks just in time. If parts of the meals are pre-produced for the following day without being shock chilled, the cooling down period is often far too long. Experience shows this could take, depending on the product, 19 hours or more. Of course, in such cases, the multiplication of microorganisms is enormous within the critical temperature range, and this causes a considerable impairment of quality. Legal guidelines demand meals may only be kept hot for three hours at plus 65 degrees Celsius. After that time, the food is not allowed to be served. So the disadvantages of the cook and serve system are high capacity cooking devices needed due to short production time. As a consequence, demand for larger space. Cooking equipment often used only for a few hours per day. A lot of staff needed due to limited time quality impairment through keeping the meals hot, and stress because of time pressure. Now contrast this with the new cook and chill and variovac kitchen. Cooking, evacuating, shock chilling. The necessary steps are cooking, vacuum processing with variovac, shock chilling, keeping in cool storage. The modules of the cook and chill and variovac system are First, cooking. Cooking in a cook and chill and variovac kitchen is similar to cooking in a standard kitchen. Modern cooking equipment should streamline daily work and product quality. Second, evacuation. Freshly cooked meals are packed at high temperatures in impermeable and heat-resistant film with Variovac. In this way, you conserve fresh meals with the fewest possible germs, without freezer burn or drying out problems. We can offer you a variety of Variovac machines to suit different quantities.
Third, shock chilling. Right after the packing and vacuum processing, the packed meals are put into the shock chiller. The rapid cooling takes the food below the critical temperature range very quickly, minimizing the activity of microorganisms. Shock chilling is the key to safe pre-production. The chilling units should, logically, be conveniently located. The chosen chilling capacity depends on the production quantity, because cooked and hot packed food has to be chilled at the same time. The following factors influence the cooling period. Temperature of the packed product, surface, volume and mass. It's all a question of simple physics. Fourth, cool storage. After shock chilling, the packed meals are stored in normal cool storage at a temperature of about plus three degrees Celsius. From here, the meals are distributed to the various serving points. This keeps your food absolutely fresh for up to 14 days. Cool storage organized like this guarantees absolutely hygienic conditions, not forgetting the added option of stock taking whenever you need to. It is helpful to label the packages with details of contents, date of production, date of expiry, serving points, etc. The labels will not come off even at temperatures of more than 100 degrees Celsius. It is very important that the cooling sequence once started is not interrupted until the final heating up of the meals. This makes well-organized refrigerated transportation to the final destination essential. Fifth, regeneration and serving. Here you see a state-of-the-art regeneration kitchen. No more cooking is done here, just regeneration of meals. In boiling water or a hot steamer, small portions in a microwave and large portions in an automatic convector oven. The sealed package is heated through swiftly and gently. Handling the packed food is easy, just cut the bags and fill the contents into your usual distribution container. Now it is easy to top up any dishes that run out and to have the right quantities ready when needed. The advantages of pre-production are no stress when cooking, efficient use of equipment, constantly high quality of meals, no problem expanding capacity, and less investment when planning new kitchens. With the cook and chill and variovac system, you can choose a stress-free production time to suit your schedule. You avoid staff shortages at weekends or in holiday seasons, you are always able to provide consistently good quality fresh food and you are able to work more economically by rational purchasing and taking advantage of the fresh products available. Cook and Chill and Variovac provides you with the perfect system to produce consistently good quality without stress in an economical, hygienic way. Isn't this the solution you've been waiting for? We'll be pleased to advise you.